welcome to our performance hall. Serving our community for more than 100 years, Hochstein celebrates all who enter here as supporters of the arts. We ask that you take notice of the emergency exits located at all corners of the hall on both levels. Restrooms are to the back of the hall downstairs. Additional accessible bathrooms are located on the main level in the school building. Please take a moment to silence your electronic devices. For the courtesy of everyone in attendance and on stage, we ask that you remain seated and only enter and exit during applause or a break in the program. Thank you and enjoy the performance.
just keep talking, it's fine. Can you hear me okay? Yes. You know what'll happen is the mic will pop on in the middle and it'll be like, nice to see everybody. Thank you. Uh, uh, welcome to those here in person and to those uh, joining us via live stream. Uh, thanks so much for joining us uh, for this special program. Um, we've been hard at work the last uh, six weeks uh, preparing this program and the students have done uh, some really nice work on this program. We're really excited to, uh, to play for you tonight. Uh, it's a lot of music uh, prepared in a short amount of time and we um, it's, it's, it's been a lot of work, but they just sound great, and I'm really proud of the work they've done. Um, that piece was Prado by um, Victor Lopez, um, a, an original comp composition of his. Um, he's more kind of known as an arranger um, for like marching band, jazz band, school <laughs> ensembles, but that's one of his lesser known originals that I, I like a lot. Uh, we have program notes in the program tonight, which is um, great, so I don't have to talk as much about the uh, individual pieces, but there is kind of like, there is kind of a little bit of a theme running through the, the program tonight, at least the, the next two pieces. Um, music originally written for voice that is transcribed for winds. Um, so this Eric Whitaker piece, Luke Sarumque, is an example of that originally written for a cappella choir. Um, he himself did the transcription for, um, for winds, and it translates very, very well. Um, if you're at all aware um, or familiar with his music, his choral music, he has a very distinct voice and a very distinct sound. And, uh, and this piece is very quintessentially Whitaker. Um, with all of those modern cluster chords and, and all of those techniques he uses, uh, this piece is just very tra tranquil and just kind of floats in air. It's very calm and um, it's been, always been one of my favorites of his. Uh, and the wind arrangement is great. So um, hope you enjoy Lux Arunque. <clears throat>
Thanks so much. Um, before we uh, before we continue on to our big feature piece uh, of the evening, I just I want to just pause for a second to acknowledge and recognize some some folks. Um, first off, I want to uh, thank all of the faculty and staff uh, here at Hochstein, our crew, our whole crew here that work behind the scenes. So much goes in to getting us to this point. Um, and we have such an amazing team here. And this process starts months and months and months in advance um, and to bring us to this night. So I want to just acknowledge them and say thank you so much for all uh, the support that they give to us on a daily basis. It's truly an amazing team. Um, it's a real great thing that we have here. So thank you to them. And um, I always take time at all of these concerts to thank um, all the private teachers, band directors, music teachers in school that help students prepare this music. Um, this, this whole process starts like long before our first rehearsal. Uh, students get the music uh, three to four weeks before we meet for the first time and they start working on it and the level of preparation they bring to that first rehearsal is what really dictates sort of the path um, of our rehearsals and the pacing of our rehearsals. So um, those, those private teachers and music teachers in school and all of those people are a really critical part of that early phase in the, the preparation process. And our rehearsals wouldn't go as smooth and wouldn't be paced as fast if, um, if they weren't supporting the students and helping them to, um, to really have a good handle on their music before we even step into the room for the first day. So I would like to give a round of applause to all of those students. Also, uh, I want a little strange aside here. I also want to thank uh, I want to thank the RPO for lending us their celeste for this concert. Uh, I don't know how many celestes we have in the county or in the area. I don't know. Um, we were originally thinking that we would just kind of play it on a keyboard with a celeste sound, but um, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. That's that's their celeste. It's um, quite old, I think, but really great that we are able to use it. So thank you to them. Uh, and I want to acknowledge, of course, uh, our seniors. Um, who are performing with us for the, for the last time tonight. Um, many of them, some of them, uh, have been with us on the Wind Symphony program since seventh grade. And um, some may have been involved in some capacity other than this uh, before them. And then some who have joined us along the way all to arrive here um, at this concert tonight. So um, I, so many faces that I only get to see, unfortunately, this time of year, but um, students who I have known um, since, for, for years and years, and it's always sad to uh, say goodbye to them, but I want to just thank them all for their, uh, their dedication to, to Hochstein and this program, and we're going to miss them. So seniors, if you could please stand. final piece. Uh, you may think, wow, this is going to be a quick concert. It's not. This piece is about 25 minutes long. So, uh, so get comfortable. Uh, um, this, on a personal note, this has been a dream uh, for me, a career dream for me. I've always wanted to, uh, to conduct this piece and to work on this piece in its entirety with a group that plays at this level. And um, finally getting the chance to do that has been great. It's been so musically enriching and fulfilling for me personally. I can't speak for all the students. I'd like to think that it's the same for them, but uh, it certainly is for me. And um, this is not the type of piece that you can just program any at any time. You know, there has there's a lot of there's a lot of things, a lot of pieces that have to be in place in order to pull this off. You know, we have um, we have several soloists throughout. We have the, the, the keyboard instruments, um, tons of percussion. Uh, there's just a lot that goes into this. And when I was starting to get a picture of what this group was going to look like this year. Um, we have 72 or 73. It's the largest group uh, that we've had uh, in a long time, and even you know, especially since COVID. I thought, I think this is the year. This is it, and we we really do have all of those pieces in place to, to do this. So um, it's been uh, it's been fun, and it's been a lot of hard work because it's a lot of music to learn in these in these rehearsals that fly by. Um, six weeks might seem like a long time, but it, it, it's just not. It, it really flies by pretty fast. So. Um, so you've hopefully or maybe read a little bit about the piece. Um, it's based on, you know, obviously it's originally written for orchestra and, and choir. 
And um, if you're sitting here thinking, you know, I don't think I know this piece. As soon as we play the first note, you're going to be like, oh yeah, I, I know that one. Um, and for those of you who are scorekeepers in the program with the movements, they can, I got to keep track of where we are. I will say that it's a little tricky because some of the movements, there are pauses between, and some of them play continuously through. So it kind of gets a little blurry and it's hard to tell um, which movement you're on. But there's an easy way to tell. Uh, the last movement, the final movement, starts exactly like the first movement. So when you hear that opening again at the end, just like the opening movement, you'll know that that's, um, that's the last movement. And the piece just runs the gamut of character. I mean, it's, some pieces are funny, some pieces are uh, more emotional, some are very, very intense, some are satirical, and it just, it's all over the place. And, um, and it's, it, it's a lot to put together. So I just, again, want to thank um, the students for working so hard, because it's been, um, it, and, and it's just been, it's been a treat to, uh, to do this. So um, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks so much again for coming. Uh, get comfortable, because like I said, this piece clocks in about 25 minutes. Um, but it's not going to feel like that. It's going to go by really fast, because it's so exciting. So here's Carmina Verano. Hope you enjoy it. <clears throat>
Thank you.